Hello, replay viewers. Hi, guys. It sounds like I'm in an echo chamber because I am house sitting for a friend. Not even house sitting. I just came to check on the house. <laughs> but uh, while I was here, I took a few extra minutes to finish the sketch I started earlier today. And the reason I want to share it with you is because I did this in um, on my iPad. Not even on my iPad. With my iPad Mini. I'm, um, let me just say hi really quick. Flipping. Hi. <laughs> um, if you don't already know me, I'm Laura Volpentesta. I'm a fashion illustrator and fashion designer. I'm a technical designer too. But my business is Fashion Illustration Tribe. Link is in the bio. And I create courses for both, um, like analog, like watercolor, um, model drawing, fashion drawing, fashion sketching skills. I also have a class on craftsy.com and my own courses on fashionillustrationtribe.com. I'm Laura Volpentesta on Instagram, and I just sketched this. Didn't take me long either. I, I worked from a photo that was in my phone, which is actually, that's the reason why I couldn't uh, share my process, because I couldn't hold, I couldn't periscope through my phone and look at a photo in my phone at the same time. So there's a website, I love, I'm really into African prints. This is an African print skirt by Kayla Kay, who's a designer I've worked with before doing illustrations and flats and helping her with her line. She's a Canadian designer, but she's actually from Ghana. And um, this is from a website called Zuva.com. And Zuva uh, showcases all kinds of African print designers, Z-U-V-A-A. And I love their getting their emails and looking at the designs. Now, the app I used is called Tayasui Sketches. And it's one of the apps. I created a course that teaches that app. The only thing is that the, the course I created called About Face, you can get the info on my Instagram or on my website. But um, that particular course actually only talks about um, heads, hair, and faces. If I want to zoom in to show you how... When you digitally illustrate, you can zoom in, which is how I do small details. In fact, you don't need any fancy equipment. Because you can zoom, you can actually use, a, I was gonna say, crap. <laughs> you can use like a junky little um, stylus. I got this at CVS, it was two for $7. But you can also just use your finger or you can use some fancy stylus, which I also have. Styli, is that the plural of stylus? Um, I have this one, I should do a whole other. In fact, I can I can scope about that right now, actually. Um, different styluses that you can use. But I do want you to know that I did this with um, the junky cheapo one. You know, this one was $65. And so was this one, and they're not better for what I'm doing at all. And personally, I'm someone who likes to be able to feel my own finger on the glass. So I'm just going to flip around again. I wanted to introduce myself, and I want you to know that while I do have a digital course that teaches how to use these digital tools for drawing, my big signature course that's 16 weeks, but with lifetime access, so you pace yourself, but it's like a whole semester, that's because I've been teaching at Parsons School of Design for 20 years and a semester is 15 weeks. So I took my model drawing and design sketching illustration class and brought it to you. Thank you for inviting your followers. Thank you so much. I brought it to you online so that people can access it for a few hundred dollars and there's even a payment plan because I don't believe fashion is something that you need to go into student debt over. I really don't. I mean, it's wonderful and I loved going to school. 40. So what I wanted to show you, this is what Taya Sui Sketches app looks like, and these are all the cool tools. And then other reason I was inspired to do this scope right now is because, and feel free to introduce yourselves, introduce yourselves to each other, feel free to ask questions. Um, Get my tools out of the way for a minute. Oops. See, two fingers swipe to the left actually helps me undo stuff. Zuva is the company that I sketched from, but the actual design is by designer Kayla K. She's from Ghana and she uh, practices out of, she's Canadian. Um, so the thing is you can zoom in to work on anything finely detailed. And I'll tell you the truth in my process, 
I did not zoom in when I did the skirt because the motif were so large. But when I do faces is when I really feel the need to zoom in. And um, wow, my faces course is actually a digital course. And what I wanna show you by zooming in for a minute, see, I'm someone who never liked digital drawing. Do any of you do digital drawing or painting? Hi, Steph, thank you. <laughs> ah, the hearts match nicely with the drawing. You see the texture? That's the texture of watercolor paper because I actually chose a watercolor paper to make this illustration. Isn't that cool? But you can choose smooth paper, you can choose graph paper, you can choose colored papers. And there's actually an article about that on my website too. But if you're gonna sketch digitally, the reason I was inspired to scope this just now is that, like I said, I came to check on my friend's cats because they're my friends away on tour, musician. And I came with this, with my iPad mini and was able to create this gorgeous piece of art, which makes me so happy. Hi, I'm gonna check your name so I can welcome you properly. You have a bronze badge. Hi, Jan, how are you? We have met before, I believe, and you have lots of scopes. What do you scope about? So what I wanted to tell you is that if I didn't have my iPad mini, I'm good. I'm good. I have to go shortly to pick up my daughter. All good, right? We have to focus on the good. And we really do. For the past week, I was like, I kept being like, everything's going wrong. And the more I said it, the more everything went wrong. So <laughs> I'm not saying that anymore. <laughs> Thank you. So you can zoom in to see the details. And what I like about Taya Sui's sketch, do you see all those um, rough textural details? I like that, and the reason I never wanted to do digital drawing before was because everything I saw that was digital was too smooth. And Tayasui sketches, while being um, very easy to learn, if you look, you know, all the tools are there. It was also a capable of doing nice textures, rough. You see what I mean? You see what I mean? To me, that's everything. So on fashionillustrationtribe.com, my signature illustration course only works with gouache, watercolor, colored pencils, model drawing, stuff like that. But I do have a course called About Face, and it's all about faces, hair, features, and it's also a course that teaches um, digital tools, which I think is really exciting. So you'll learn um, everything I know about Tayasui app, and you'll also learn about Adobe Illustrator Draw, which is another really cool app. And teach you about a watermarking app. <laughs> so little by little, you know, I'm getting more accepting of the digital. And what I wanted to say was, if I hadn't brought my iPad mini, and if I didn't have this totally cool app, I wouldn't have had the watercolors, the markers, the brush pens, the color palette that I had right here with me when I created this sketch. I would have had to carry a big bag of stuff, spread out all my supplies, make a mess. And there are two cats here who would have been knocking over my water and getting hair in my paint. <laughs> and then I would have had to clean it all up before I go. So I just can't say enough about how much I love these digital apps. <laughs> So that's the About Face course, is my digital course. And that course is just a four-week course, and it's just $97. So you can get all the lessons. You still get lifetime access. You can revisit your lessons again and again. They're video lessons. And the apps themselves are like $4.99. Like, they all have free versions, but you have to pay a little bit extra just to get, like, um, more tools and more options, and you definitely want those. So thanks for joining me today. This is a quickie because I'm running out the door, but I have to say that creating this illustration brought me so much joy. And that's the truth of it, you know? That's the point of it. And you know what else is great about digital drawing? Is anytime you try out like a new color or a new brush, you make some new strokes, if you don't like them, two fingers swiping to the left will it, it, remove It'll take you back in time. It's called like a history. And that's so great because then you can take experimental moves that you wouldn't on real paper. Because on paper, you can't remove them. I'm never someone who advocates for erasing in my courses. 
But on the digital, I'll tell you to experiment and remove and experiment and remove. Definitely, definitely recommend that. The other thing, there was one other thing I wanted to tell you mm, about, was it about the digital sketch? I, and now I forget what I was just going to tell you. Um, about the history, about being able to erase, about the portability, about, oh, in, in Tayasui sketches, you can even make videos that record your whole drawing process. So when you're done, you can save it to your camera roll and then play it out. You can even add audio. So that's amazing. You can even make tutorials that way, which is a great tip if you want to create online courses too. Um, but I know there was one other thing I wanted to tell you guys. Do you have any questions? If any questions, um, oh, I think before I go, I'm going to show you the drawing one more time because we have some newcomers. I wanted to welcome everybody. So if anyone's new, um, I'd love to say hello. So here's the illustration I just um, using Tayasui sketches. I did it from a photo. New, hi, how are you? I love jazz. <laughs> I'm a singer. Um, I don't know if you're a musician too, but I love your name right away, Kelly. And so this is um, an African print look by a designer named Kayla Kay. Hello, Fierce. <laughs> I love people with cool names. Shun oh, you're a designer seamstress. Hello, youth mentor. Awesome. I have two teenagers and a seven-year-old. I'm a single mom. This is my family business, is that I create courses. I'm also a fashion illustrator and technical designer, but um, I used to teach, I've taught, I still teach at Parsons for 20 years in New York, but I, and I created their first online design course as well, but I'm really trying to stop schlepping out to the city because um, I just wanted to start my own business. So this is, I teach model drawing, I teach fabric rendering, I teach how to um, match your colors to your fabric splotches. Um, I teach um, techniques for being consistent with your proportion, no matter what your size range is. I don't teach, um, oh yeah, and I don't teach um, unrealistic body proportions. You want to learn to draw your designs. Well. Please follow me. I've been scoping every day at noon, except not today because I had an interview today. Um, I have a lot on YouTube too. If you look at my name, Laura Volpentesta, you can visit my YouTube channel for a lot of tutorials. But at my website, you can learn a lot about me. The link is in the bio and it's called fashionillustrationtribe.com. And I have a 16 week, like a whole semester course that is like the course that I created for Parsons. Let me see if I have any other illustrations here. Um, but my actual, my signature course, the 15 week course actually uses um, real watercolors and pencils. So, but these are digital. But my little course, if you just wanna get started, I have a little course called About Face. It's actually a lot, <laughs> but it's just, it's a quote unquote four week course. And um, what we do is we use these apps to do faces, heads, hair, and features. And I teach you how to use the app. And at the same time, I teach you how to do the heads so you can just practice because heads and faces are so expressive. And the reason I love this app, which is called Tayasui Sketch, is because look how um, rough, this is an unfinished piece, by the way. It's just the beginning. You see the rough textures? Hang on, let me zoom in. And the zoom ability, but you see how uh, organic it all looks? That's really important to me because I am someone who usually teaches. So I wanted to make sure that people using digital were still getting texture and emotion and not too much flat, too much smooth. Do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So I've been doing live lessons through Periscope at noon, you know, almost every day because I had some time between clients. But I'd like you to check some of those out if you want. Um, model drawing, design drawing. And I also have a class on craftsy.com. So you can find that on my website. All my courses are listed on my website. I also have a course in marker illustration. But here's the thing. 
Even though I've taught at Parsons forever and I teach people for professional skill, above all for me is if you're not loving it and you're not enjoying yourself, I don't even want you to do it. Oh! Oh, so you're in the class already. You got in the paracaptor group? Well, I gave you guys laugh, lifetime access, which is kind of silly of me. <laughs> no, but I just want to get the word out, and I, I have like a lot of reasons why I did that. So don't forget that your course access never goes away, and you can pace yourself. That's why I created I'm a mom. In fact, I was full-time at Parsons, and I sort of feel, I really feel that I lost my position because I became a mom and I thought that was really wrong. And I was like, you know what? There's a lot of moms who have a lot of dreams that it's hard to do when you're a mom, especially a single mom or whatever. So I wanted to make these courses and things available to people with lives. And not everyone can, you know, move to New York City, put their whole life on hold to study all this stuff. So on there, in my website and in my courses, I hope that you can really learn to tap into that creative. You know, a lot of people go into fashion and they end up working for a big corporate fashion company and they're kind of like, whoa, this isn't even what I dreamed fashion would be like. I want to be where the love and the craft is and the real fire of imagination. So even if you're only doing that on paper or whether you're doing that on paper to support your designs that you do in your studio. Um, I want to help you really uh, develop your vision. And my favorite part, like what I just shared with you now was a single illustration. Hi, newcomers. But my favorite thing is in my signature course, it's called Freedom Fashion. I teach you how to develop a collection of clothes, like a whole group of sketches that all work with one theme and one fabric group. And when you do that, there's something really deep that goes on. It's really exciting to think about how the, how the different looks interact with each other, how they function for the woman who's wearing them, how you can tell a story about her life, uh, whether for totally practical design concerns or for totally dreaming up beautiful visions either way do you know what I mean so um that's the goal at the end of the course you've created you've designed and illustrated first in quick sketches and then in final illustrations your own collection and once you know that process you can do it again and again and again and again it can become your art form I want you to own this art form whether it's for your portfolio or just for your feeding your fire Okay, so like I said, I'm house sitting. That's why I did this illustration on my iPad mini, which is actually the only one I have so far, just to show you that my business is still in its very growing stages because someday I'll have an iPad Pro and an Apple Pen and all that stuff. But you know what? I'm glad that I have humble, simple tools because I'm assuming that's what a lot of my students have. And Really bad art supplies will fight you, but not every inexpensive art supply is lousy. Okay, so you having the most expensive one isn't always going to yield the best result, and only some cheap ones are really bad, and some cheap ones are great. <laughs> so I'm here to help you recognize all that. There's also a free basic model drawing course on my homepage at fashionillustrationtribe.com. If you just sign up for the email list, you'll get into that free, it's model drawing, and it's some basic drawing and art supply skills for people who've never even begun. So it's a good uh, primer. And then what I really recommend is that you sign up and get the whole shebang. For example, we have a holiday weekend next weekend. It's a good time to have some time off and just hunker down with cozy videos and art supplies and get your visions out. So I have to go because I'm it, uh, it's my friend's house, my friend's traveling. I came to check on their cats and the house is freezing because they have everything like turned off. So you have any questions before I head out? I'm really happy to meet you. 
And um, feel free to share this with your friends or whatever. And I look forward to seeing you on my next scope, usually at noon on weekdays. This week's a little crazy. I'm also a singer, mostly Brazilian jazz and samba. So you'll see music scopes mixed in there too. I'm more about creative fire than anything else. Family, art, music, those are all my creative fire. So I'll scope about all those things. <laughs> but my online courses are all about art and design. Got it? <laughs> all right. And you can also, if you want me to... Um, if you'd like to request a video about a certain topic, you can direct message me on Twitter, which I use sometimes. You can direct message me anytime on Instagram. I'm Laura Volpintesta on Instagram. And I'm on there every day, several times a day. And on YouTube, you can comment on YouTube and ask questions too. There's a lot of demonstration videos on there, okay? <laughs> Hello, a little help from above. That's just what I needed was a little help from above. And here it is. Thank you. <laughs> you are welcome on every scope, Nicole. Oh my gosh. And I'm not following you. That doesn't make any sense. Well, I'm following you now. I don't even know how that happened. Hi, you're a little help from above. I know your name name from Facebook and I didn't even know your Periscope handle. Hi. <laughs> Hi. I was, I'm house sitting my friend's cat. And while I was here, I did some sketch and then decided to scope about it. And then um, I was just wrapping up because, because I'm house sitting, it's like this house is freezing. <laughs> so what do you all have planned for your weekend? Anything? Thanks for stopping by. And who knows, maybe I'll scope again from home because my daughter, who's seven, she's usually always with me, which always makes me feel a little chaotic on scope. Um, but she's with grandma today after school. Hello, Liz. <laughs> nice to meet you. Hello, I'm just gonna check your profile so I can give you a more welcome hi. Oh, you got an egg. Okay. <laughs> welcome. Um, and Nicole, are you in the Love in Action Facebook group? You are, right? Thanks for the hearts. Um, because I had an interview today uh, for a part-time. You are, right. I knew it. Okay, there you go. So I noticed that after the election for, for a whole week, I wasn't going to let I don't know what I was. I was trying not to like feed too much fire, but at the same time, I did it in a different way. Like I started to see like everything around me started to break. <laughs> my stove broke and then my crock pot broke and <laughs> everything was breaking. And the more I focused on it, stuff kept breaking. I was like, oh my gosh, I have to stop thinking like this, right? Or it's going to be more and more. So it's been, I've been turning it around. It has been tough. And in some ways you're like, I, well, you know, our group has helped a lot. Um, scopes have helped a lot. I just thought it was interesting how several times this year where I've told myself, I'm not gonna get upset about this right now. I've realized I can't really it's going to come up somewhere else like we we do have to process we do have to and fortunately you know what life life the energy moves through us in whatever way it does you just hope it'll be something healthy so for me it was oh my gosh everything's breaking everything's breaking everything's breaking and the more i said it the more everything broke and i was like wow wait this is the law of attraction so and while I was saying that everything was breaking, hi, Miss Priscilla, welcome. I also kept noticing, Laura, everything is not breaking. Everything is not breaking. Like, yes, you stubbed your toe and you broke the lid and you dropped the coffee cup and your oven doesn't work, but look at the autumn leaves, how beautiful. Look at your child's face. Don't you feel healthy today? Hi, Priscilla, hello. <laughs> Isn't that the way with Periscope? Like, just when you're wrapping up, the party starts. 
<laughs> I'm glad you're all here. Now I don't want to go. I just have to keep track of the time because I promised to my daughter I would pick her up. Okay, I have about five more minutes. It is so good. So then I was like, okay, if I can focus on these good things too, and I can focus on them more and more. <laughs> Thanks, Priscilla, but I miss you. So how are you? Judging by your hello makes me think you're doing good, babe. And actually, we all have to know, you know, we're doing good. But, you know, some days are just tricky. So I had several doozies in a row. And I realized I had to pick myself up. But you know what really picks us up is each other. And honestly... Honestly, a lot of my major pickup moments have been here on Periscope. You know what I mean, right? We have some playful communities. And in the people we see and follow, there's so much spirit in everybody. Ah, oh, thank you. Thank you. I get it from you guys. We, it's energy. It's light, you know? I feel like, um, yep, thank God. It's like in each one of you, when I see your strength of spirit and I see everyone trucking and not going and just being out there, sharing their light, that just renews all my faith in everything. So um, that's the thing with Periscope, you know, every now and then I just have to say that because People you would never have met, people you would never have, um, maybe never struck up a conversation with at a, <laughs> you're amazing, thank you, right, someone is suddenly on Periscope, you're like right in their intimate space, you're right there, you're chatting with them, they're in their car, they're in their kitchen, they're with their kids, they're, and you're just like, in all these places, you're like, oh, wow, I never could have been in these places before and now I'm right there right there in this intimate space and um and you people are people are people are people are people hi Liz <laughs> I just saw you show that yeah that's what I'm saying that's right and that's another example Liz of yes that it's what you focus on. So if you focus on those positive things, you're going to see more of it. I love the intimacy too, because what I have to tell you, is a lot of you, we're friends in Facebook groups, or we're friends on Instagram, or we're friends in, on other Periscopes. And because we've met here, I really feel like I know you guys. It's totally different than any of this other social media where I've only seen people there. People who we've shared things on Periscope with each other or we've been in other people's scopes together. It's, um, yes, it's the intimacy. That's a beautiful, beautiful thing. Thank you for being here with me. Thanks for sharing your hearts. Um, did everyone get to see today's illustration? Priscilla, did you get to see it? Yes, and I honestly believe that, um, let me show the illustration one more time before we go, that in that way, something like Periscope really breaks down barriers because we can start to see that people who we think are different than us are, you know, and that's what we need. Um, and a lot of us are, you know, too shy to go out to a new, uh-oh, wait, I'm trying to, aw. Uh, okay, this is the, um, the new illustration that went up today. Thank you. I did this on my, that's my iPad mini. So I sketched it on there using this really cool app. It's, you'll never remember the name, Taya Sui. <laughs> and why did I do it? You know, I loved her smile, right? And her happy, relaxed feeling. And I love those big, bright prints. And um, it's a website called Zuva that has like all African print designs. Oh my gosh, me too. The designer's name is Kayla Kay. And she's actually a designer that I had the good fortune to work with. Um, I never met her personally. We worked remotely. So she would send me photos. I would illustrate them and do technical sketches. Um, and I really love her designs. And I, I love that even though this is an app, 
Like all these art supplies are in an app, the pencil, the watercolor, the ink pen, but don't they look very like rough and natural and textured? That's really important to me. Thank you, Liz. And, and guess what? You know, creating beauty makes us happy, right? That's it. Maybe it doesn't mean that we all got to be, you know, fashion designers or whatever. Maybe we just have our right to um, interpret and experience beauty, right? To be creators, to let our love flow. I just took a screenshot of that because I liked the cropping. Right? It's interesting how you can, oops. Um, and you know what's really fun with this app? Oh my gosh, now I'm going to be late. <laughs> to get my daughter i'm gonna go in a minute i could take the watercolor tool okay if you know nothing about nothing about art supplies this app you can get it in your phone taya sui if any of you knows the name you can type it up there t-a-y-a-s-u-i i also have some youtube videos about taya sui but look what you can do just look oops 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 wait i'm gonna pick a color you don't have to be able to draw you don't have to be able to draw. Okay, you can like play with these tools. Oh, of course. Yeah, and and enjoy it yourself too. Yes, show it to your girls. They will come up with things that you never even thought of. Wait, I'm trying to find some really cool pink. Yeah, look at this pink. Hang on a second. This pink. This is the kind you can actually do that. I just can't remember which tool I used to do that. So let's say I pick um, purple here and I start, okay, here, you see this? Oh my gosh. Do you have any idea how good that feels? <laughs> can you tell how good that feels? And I can keep adding tone and I can click this little red dropper to quote unquote dry my paint and then I can add more colors. Hang on. The why isn't that working? Give this a sec. Let me go to the, is it this one? I have a favorite tool I'm trying to find for you. Maybe it's this circle. Let me try the circle. Um, okay. Yeah, look at this. I can make, I love this. Hang on. That circle tool, hang on. Look, I can make these like splotches of blue. I mean, if you're like feeling down <laughs> and you just like, Pick up this app and allow yourself to, oh, yeah, there it is. There's my blue dots. To play, you don't even have to, you don't have to anything, you know. This is the watercolor tool. It's the main reason I fell in love with this app. Like, you can mix colors and, like, I shared some of these on Instagram, actually. You see, they, they feel natural. They don't feel digital at all right and then you might be moved to pick another color how old are your girls nicole how old are your girls and by the way nicole i feel like this is the first time we got to visit together on scope oh my gosh this is like firecrackers i'm in heaven right now and those are just the available oh oh that's beautiful they are gonna have so much fun with this nicole and guess what else? If you go up here to the plus sign, oops, I missed it. The plus sign, you can pick any colors you want. Like you pick the color range you want to be in and then you can go from the brightest to the black version of it to the gray versions to the pastels. You have all these different choices. Oh my gosh, speaking of to be, I have to pick up mine in half an hour and she's an hour away. It is coming, but promise me you'll download it for yourself too. <laughs> You're gonna love it. You might even make a deck of cards. You know, do, you do intuitive sketching with it, okay? You guys, thanks for joining with me. Oh yeah, deck of cards, baby. <laughs> See you soon. Thanks for joining me. Ciao, ciao.